Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Usman Ali and we are again uh, here in a video to discuss that how to know how much of the account receivable we may not be able to recover actually or in, in other words how to know the amount of bad debts actually. So to answer this question we have two approaches, a balance sheet approach and an income statement approach or account receivable approach you can say and sales approach. So let's discuss the balance sheet approach first and then we will discuss the uh, income statement approach. So the approach that is used uh, by the name of balance sheet approach can also be called as aging schedule. Uh, we actually try to develop an aging schedule so it's kind of a scientific method of doing it. Let's say the name of our organization is Wilson and Co and we are preparing an aging schedule. So what I will do here is I will first make a list of all my customers if I have 100 customers 200 customers whatever the quantity of the customers are I will make a list of all of them and will bring it to the first column of the table uh, under the name of the name of customers and then on till today which let's say assume today is 31st December so till today whatever is the outstanding account receivable towards our customers we will write it their respective customers account receivable so let's assume that towards customer a our account receivables are $98,000 our books of accounts will give us this figure then towards customer 2 our receivables are three lakh and twenty thousand dollars to customer 3 our account receivables are $55,000 and to customer 4 our receivables are $74,000 so it means that the total account receivables that we have towards our customer are five lakh and forty seven thousand dollars actually that's the total account receivables okay so customer uh, will pay us and that's what we expect now we want to know that out of this five lakh and forty seven thousand dollar how much of the account receivable cannot be recovered or it I think it is in doubt so in order to answer this question what we do is actually looking into our business situation and country situation we actually try to develop an age here age groups here if you see here our first column in the age group is under 60 days it means the first two months so let's say if I have made a sales uh, on to one of my customer and the sales was made let's assume on 15th of October or 15th of November now f starting from 15th of November till today 31st of December how many days have passed 45 days have passed it means that that account receivable lies under 60 category is it okay so let's assume out of $98,000 $18,000 was that sales which was actually made on 15th of November and it li it comes under the category of the 60 days $80,000 okay and let's assume that some of the sales was made worth $18,000 and let's assume that that those sales were made on uh, let's say 10th of October so starting from 10th of October and ending in uh, what you yeah ending in 31st December if I'm not wrong it will give me 60 plus 20 80 days so it means it will lie under the second age group of 60 to 90 days or you can say the third month so whatever that quantity of amount or the quantity is $18,000 the amount I will write it here now if I plus 18,000 with 80,000 the total is 98,000 with actually the customer owes so what I just did is I have classified this $98,000 into its age groups that out of this $98,000 how much of the account receivable exist and it is over 120 days or in between 91 to 120 days or 60 to 90 days or under 60 days likewise we will do it for other customers also let's assume that for customer number two all of the receivables are under the 60 days means the sales is quite recent okay and for customer 3 let's as a assume that all of the sales that were made belongs to over 120 days which is more than four months actually 
and for customer four let's say that out of seventy four thousand dollar sixty thousand dollar were actually under sixty days and fourteen thousand dollar was in between 91 to 120 days so we, we actually classified all of our customer records according to the accounting records that we have and obviously this 80,000, 18,000, 320, 55, 14, 60, this can very easily be taken from the accounting records, the sales records or the account receivables, uh, account receivable books that is maintained or individual ledgers that are maintained, you can very easily get the data from there. Then in the end of the table, I will find the total of every column just like I found the total of the total of the account receivables so i will plus 80000 with 320 with and plus 3 uh, 60000 also so my total would be 4 lakh and 60000 dollar then the total of the third column would be 18000 dollar then 14000 is the total and 55000 is the total in the last so it means that my total account receivables are five lakh and forty thousand dollar out of five lakh and forty thousand dollar account receivables four lakh and sixty thousand account receivables are those receivables which are under 60 days of sales and eighteen thousand dollar are in the third month fourteen thousand dollar are in the fourth month and fifty five thousand dollar worth of credit sales have actually exceeded the life of four months okay now remember this one thing the more you go in to the life means over 120 days the more riskier it become to recover the money and that's very much obvious when we are in at the initial stage of trying for something and we fail so we still are very much energetic and motivated to try again and then try again and then try again and then try again but eventually slowly gradually slowly gradually our motivation level decreases slowly gradually same case is here if if there is an account receivable under the first category of under 60 days then our confidence level would be comparatively high that yes i can recover that no worries but the more it goes the more it get delay then the lesser confident we are actually in recovering that account receivable. Now, th this is half of the aging uh, numerical actually. So here we just aged our account receivable. Now, with every age, we have a different level of confidence scientifically and logically as well. 4 lakh 60, we are more confident that a majority of the portion will be recovered because it is just in the initial stages. And the $18,000, our confidence level would be little low and our uncollectible level would be little high here. And same is the case with 14 and 55. So let's continue with the numerical. We are not done with the numerical yet. Okay. So what I will do is I will shift these columns to the rows here. Like if you can see under 60, 60 to 90, 91 to 120 and over 120. These are the rows here. And what were the amounts of that? In under 60, we had an amount of 4 lakh and 60,000. So I will shift 4 lakh and 60,000 here. Then in 60 to 90 days, we had an amount of $18,000. I will shift $18,000 here. And then $14,000 to my third and $55,000 to my fourth. And then I will apply a, a percentage which I estimate to be an uncollectible out of it. Now this is an area where experience says, okay? It is your experience of the account receivable management that will tell you that how much percentage of this amount you may not be able to recover. How that experience get developed? That experience get developed in by multiple factors but obviously time factor is important here the experience could be that you have individually dealed with this customer before and you have you actually know this customer behavior behaviorally mentally psychologically you do understand him you also know about the business situation of this customer the competitive situation of this customer 
you also have a nerve on the economic situation economic status going on in the country overall the business businesses going on their situation their problems uh, they are facing actually okay you also know about different things of the whole market where you are and based on that you develop that okay uh, i think it would be a little problem like these days covid 19 is going on so obviously covid 19 has a, an adverse effects on businesses and obviously uh, it means that the companies uh, which are expecting their collections from their customers they may feel a bit worried about it that previously the customers were unable to pay me 2% of the money but due to covid 19 as they will also face problems economic issues like i am facing so i expect not 2% but 10% this time 15% this time so there should be a logical reason for that that's your experience will tell you other than that there are certain countries where the commerce ministry the commerce department they also publish their research works and they also give a kind of a range type of percentage uh, to 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 their people to their business community that okay on the government level they have conducted a survey and based on the survey they gives you some percentages that overall let's say in us uh, the uncollectible rate for the first 30 days or for the first 60 days of your sales is 2% on average basis so it does not mean that you will also have an exact same percentage but that can serve a very good uh, starting point for you so let's assume that my experience tells me that 4% of this 460 will not be recovered so here if you see i my confidence level is high and the uncollectible level is only 4% but the more when i go into the life then my percentage of uncollectible increases it means my confidence is going down of recovering it and my uncollectible confidence is increasing that yeah i am more confident in this case that there will be more uncollectibles so that's 15% off the $18000 likewise let's say 20% uh in the third group and in the fourth group we expect 25% of the total money will not be recovered So what I do is that I will multiply four percent with four lakh and sixty thousand dollar. I will do the first calculation for you, okay? Just to know how it is done. Four lakh and sixty thousand dollars. I will multiply that with four percent, which is point zero four, and we get eighteen thousand and four hundred dollars. So it means that eighteen thousand and four hundred dollar may not be recovered. Out of four lakh and sixty remaining will be recovered. That's what I expect. Fifteen percent multiply by Eighteen thousand dollar would be two thousand and seven hundred dollars. Twenty percent of fourteen thousand dollar would be two thousand and eight hundred dollars. And fifty-five, uh, sorry, twenty-five percent of the fifty-five thousand dollar would be thirteen thousand six hundred and fifty. At the end of the day, I will total all of them, and my total would be thirty-seven thousand six hundred and fifty. So my total of the account receivables are five lakh and forty-seven thousand dollars, and what I expect, using my experience and overall market situation, that I feel, I believe, or I recognize that thirty-seven thousand six hundred and fifty dollar will be my uncollectibles, or you can call it as bad debts. Okay. Now that I have calculated that, what is my bad debts? so after this i will record it i will do the accounting for uncollectibles which we have already discussed in the previous video so this is how you apply the aging schedule or aging schedule okay i hope you got uh, the overall process of it so it's a two step process first is the aging one and second one is the calculation of the bad debt that's called balance sheet approach ladies and gentlemen let's talk about the income statement approach in the last also and i will use the same example that my account receivables are how much it's 5 lakh and 47000 dollars so i will i will come to the down here what is my total account receivables my total account receivable is 5 lakh and 47000 dollars in the income statement approach we just do nothing the only thing that we do is actually we just assign a percentage of uncollectible here just like we did it there okay so let's assume that the uncollectible percentage is 
my experience once again tells me that overall 3% is that money which is not recovered actually. Okay. So if it, that's the case, then I can very easily calculate my bad debts. Okay. Let's calculate our bad debts also or uncollectible. You can call it. So our bad debts would be equal to what? Five lakh forty-seven thousand dollar multiply by three percent. So you multiply that. Let's multiply it. We have five lakh forty-seven thousand, and we multiply it with three percent, or you can multiply it with five, but whatever your experience is. So sixteen thousand four hundred and ten. Sixteen thousand four hundred and ten would be my unrecoverables. So that's it. We are done with the income statement also. Such a small process it is, but the smaller it is, the bad it is also. Why it is a bad thing? It's, it has a one small issue here, which is like the, the main backbone of the problem. This three person. How can you assign one single person to all the customers? Different customers have different economic, like different businesses. They have different businesses, different psyche, different behaviors, different market situation, maybe different countries. So their economic situations are different. How can you assign 3% to all of it? That is something which is very debatable. And this is the reason that majority of the people don't use it because it seems illogical to them that applying a one fixed percentage to everyone that's kind of unfair. And one another thing is here, aging is not done. We like consider five lakh and forty-seven thousand dollar as one. As one and it's it's not possible to have it if you works on logics. Okay. Why? Because they are actually classified into different lifespans, and obviously different lifespan means different life expectancies. Okay? It's it's like this. Young people are tend to live long as compared to old people, though there are nature matters there, but that's a general rule of thumb. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are the two approaches that are actually used. Balance sheet approach, which we call aging schedule, and we have an income statement approach also. Uh, I hope you got the concept. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Stay safe.